You're gonna need a 13 16 to remove the tire nuts or a 20. Let's get these off of here. Also recommend to go ahead and put some PB blast on the four bolts in the rear. That way that starts loosening it up while you take off all this other stuff in the front first. So before you remove the hub and all the nuts in the back, you're gonna go ahead and remove this. I used some pliers, got it right from the middle, pulled it out. It's pretty rusty. And they're gonna use some of our special pliers to get those off the very top. So these are the pliers you're gonna need right here. Go ahead and put that right there. I got a washer and a nut. Just like, oh, nothing was ready to come out. I would also recommend to put a little bit of PB blast in there before you're removing it. Let it sit for a couple minutes before you take it out. So then you're gonna have a 17 up here, 17 down here. Also, you might have to press the brake calipers in to be able to go ahead and remove that from here. And then the next step is going to be the bracket itself, and that's a 13 16 millimeter. To get this four rear bolts in the back, that's going to be a 13 16 also. To take off the hub itself, the hub assembly. This top one right here is going to be an 8 millimeter, and then you're going to have the connection tab right there. You just got to remove that and then go ahead and install the new one. At that point, this is pretty much out. Gotta remove all these little things right here. GoPro stop recording. So on the four bolts in the rear, it says 133 pounds on those four. And then um, when we get to the front, you're gonna have these three. You're gonna go in that order. And in here. And then we're gonna have this little lock around there we'll put that on right now also don't forget to put your cable and tuck this all where it goes just like so 